Hey, Professor Dominique Bell here at Atos Jiu Jitsu. Uh, this week we've been working on uh, Toriando passes, so uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the technique, and stay tuned for more. Work to take the back now. There's a few ways you can you can attack the back. Um, so I'm walking back. I walk forward, and uh, when I make this angle where I'm just walking him straight down, I'm thinking about. Uh, driving this leg all the way to the mat so that he faces the other direction. Because his legs, like if I push one leg, it's gonna push his other leg and it's gonna push his shoulders. So I just keep walking, walking, walking until he's facing the other way and I have connection with my legs, okay? Now, if he has the sleeve grip like this and I walk him down here, I like to attack the Kimura right here because the Kimura is a really strong grip to, to attack the back, okay? And it's typically when you, when a person keeps the sleeve, this is gonna be the best way to like secure the position, okay? So that sleeve that he's controlling in the beginning, I walk him all the way down until my knees are kind of close to him. Where is he? And then I'm just gonna, I don't actually have his grip, he has my grip. I'm just gonna bring it off of the leg in front of my face and then I'll create a bend here and then I'll turn my hand and I'll start to lock my Kimura like this, okay? Notice like I don't even have his grip. I just have my arm like a bar right here. He still can't get it out. See, I'm cupping my fingers. So if he were to let go of this grip, oops, sorry. No, no, it's fine. Bam, I'd have the Kimura grip, okay? Just like that, okay? Now from here, um, what you can start to do is switch your knees. See, I start making that little chair position. And then I can control bottom collar and bring his head inside of this Kimura control. Okay? Now I'm just sitting to my butt, pulling him in my lap, making some space with this underhook opening and inserting my heel like this. Okay? Now to get my bottom hook, I'm just gonna fall to the other side. Okay, so right now I'm sitting, now I fall to my back on the other side. And I can use my thigh behind his shoulders to kind of adjust him a little bit so that I can get my second hook. Okay. Here, just like that, okay? Usually they'll let go of this grip because it's like, it kind of bends their fingers back a little bit, all right? And then you can just switch to a normal Kimura grip. All right, switch my knees here, include his head in the Kimura right here. So it's like a Kimura seatbelt. And now I'm gonna sit to my butt. I have really good control with this. Um, it's really hard for him to, to put his shoulders to the ground because I can push this Kimura away from me and it stops his rotation. Like right here in a normal seat belt, this arm is disconnected from me, so he can start to hide his shoulder on the ground. When I have this Kimura, it's like I can push his arm away from me like this, and it makes it really hard for him to, to turn and defend the back. So this is like, I feel like this is the superior, to all the grips, the superior back control, having the arm included, because he just, it controls rotation so well. Okay, you just extend your arm away, and there's no way he's gonna put his back to the ground. Really easy to follow him too, okay? Now I'm gonna lean and make some space to put my heel in. Okay, now I fall to the other side, use my knee like right under his shoulder and start to bring him up and then I'll put my second hook in, like that, okay? The, the first grip you get is that bottom sleeve grip, okay? You, you don't want to give him your legs or your other sleeve. Once he has two grips, uh, he, he's starting to have all the control he could get for any guard he wants to play, okay? So at least just leave him with one, one grip, okay? That's a good rule of thumb. Anytime you're on top is if they have two grips, they, have, they can't have more control than that, okay? If they have two grips, okay? So I just give him one grip. 
I walk back, forward, catch the leg. Walk it all the way across, and I look for that Kimura grip, okay? Switch my knees. Another thing I'm thinking about doing here, anytime I have a seatbelt or a Kimura or a grip on the collar, I'm always pushing down on his hips, okay? So with the seatbelt, my elbow's closing on his hips. With the Kimura, my elbow's closing on his hips, okay? With the collar, it's just because I don't want him to fly to turtle. Like he won't use his elbow on the ground, but his hips will come up. I don't want that to happen. So I'm always loading his hips, making him super heavy until my knee can get there. And now if he decides to go up to turtle, I can always ride him up and, and get the hook without like, kind of like missing the boat, okay? You don't want his hips to run away to turtle really fast while you're still trying to do stuff, so you gotta make him heavy, okay? So whatever control you have, doesn't matter. You need to lean weight with your elbow on his hips, like this. So I'm leaning weight on his hips until my knee gets there. Then I bring his head inside, I make that little chair for him. Notice how I pulled him into my lap. And then I start to open that side, so it's hard for him to defend this hook. And I don't throw it over like this, I like to insert my foot. So I start heel first and I kick forward like this. And it's harder for him to catch you on these frames. If you're coming over this way, he pulls his knee to his chest. But here, there's this little pocket that's always gonna be there. It's very hard for him to defend this. And you have a lot of leg press power to be able to like push your foot in there rather than like going here, okay? So I like to go right here, okay? And I always follow that bottom hook side here. One. Pull them up, and then same thing, get your hook on the top side. Okay? Yes? Uh, what would you say about like not sitting, just like putting the hook and then sitting? Oh, like staying on top and putting yeah, the hook? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let me see. Like, do you like it, or, or do you rather do this one? There's a reason I do it, I just gotta do it real quick. Oh, okay. So, if I try to put my hook while I'm like right here, right? Yeah, exactly. It kind of, I feel like it puts me off base. Like I have to like lean away from him and like try kind of expose myself. I'm talking about like really leaning forward doing this. Like coming this way and putting your hook? It, it just... No, no. What do you mean? Like leaning forward, these are his tips, and I just pass the hook all the way. Oh, I'm like track one now. And then I sit. He's like no. Yeah. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you want to check out the full one, you can watch the full video on Autos Online.